We're here today in a sorghum field in Texas and it's a little bit cooler now. It's winter and things have started to cool down and there's a lot less insect activity out here. But as we take a look at this sorghum, you'll actually see that we can see some sugarcane aphids. And we also see these little gray aphids that look almost exactly the same with those aphids. These aphids are actually the same species, they're just a different color. When organisms of the same species have different colors that they can represent in nature, we call those color morphs. During the winter, you will find sugarcane aphids in this gray color morph, but they're not found typically during the summer. There are many insects in nature that use color morphs for different reasons. For example, in praying mantises, there are green and brown color morphs, which allow them to live in different environments Color morphs can be affected by multiple different factors, including genetics and the environment in which the insects are found. For example, with these aphids, if I take them inside and leave them in a warm climate, the gray aphids are going to stay gray. But if they were reared in a warm environment, then we're probably not going to find as many of the gray ones in that environment. A really cool thing about color morphs for those of us that love to collect insects is that sometimes you can find rare color morphs of insects that you would not expect. For example, take a look at this Chrysina gloriosa. To me it's one of the most beautiful beetles and it almost is like a piece of jewelry to me because it's so pretty. These beautiful beetles are typically green in color, but red color morphs have been found before, though they are rare. And even more rare is this purple tinged one, which there has only been one recorded example so far found. This is one of the exciting things about collecting insects. Now not all insects have different color morphs, but you could find an extremely rare color morph if you're out collecting a lot. These color morphs increase the collectability of some of these insects by making it interesting that you can find these rare colorations. Who knows, you might be one of the few people who stumbles upon a rare color morph insect next time you go out collecting. That's why it's important for us to go out and collect often, keep our eyes open, and always be trying to learn new techniques and about these insects so we can share them with all sorts of people so they can enjoy them just like we do. Thanks for watching this episode. Here's some more videos that I recommend you watch if you want to learn more about insects and collecting so you can become a master insect hunter as well. And make sure and subscribe to our channel for all things insects.